good YouTube. This your man Spill Dog. You know what? Maybe Earl and Derrick James gonna start back working together. Uh, it, I, it just seemed like he don't really want to work with nobody else. Uh, I guess everything boxing might be right. Just go if 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 that's what you're comfortable, then go ahead and pay the dude. Uh, but it's just, it's just hard. To see, you know, it just it's, it's kind of weird seeing all of them standing up there like that together. Uh, and I gotta say that I do know Earl. He do gotta come out here for his fight uh, in the promotion, but. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I like to think it's, it would be somewhat awkward with them having a court, court case pending. Uh, who's to say, man? Maybe they talk that, sit down and talk about it, and sell their differences like men. That, that, you know, that would be the, that would be the very best outcome for that situation. Honestly, you know, uh, you know, I can see, I, I, I can definitely see where, uh, I can, I can see how uh, Earl could, could, could have a problem with that last fight just the way how the training was because of all the different fighters that he started working with at that particular time uh who knows man uh you know sometimes sometimes it's best to keep stuff out the media you know if you can you know uh, i don't know who leaked leaked that they was having issues but obviously earl didn't know because he you could tell he he was completely blindsided because he had no type of backup plan or nothing in order so you know and who's to say uh, you know, I think a lot of what Earl decisions is based on what Al Heyman tell him to do. Uh, maybe he got bad advice. You know, maybe he got bad advice in that situation. Uh, I don't know, but I do know this. Uh, you know, blood is thicker than water, and you don't always have to be related to be family with somebody. And I, I, I just, you know, it, it, it threw it threw me for a, a curve when they. When they announced they was having issues or whatever, I didn't see it coming, and I I think well a lot of the trainers have said I think uh, Virgil Hunter said something I know uh, Robert Garcia, quite a few people said they should sit down and try to settle their differences, uh, you know, and maybe 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 uh maybe it was a case where Derrick James didn't know how to come to him about it, you know, uh, it's hard to talk to people about money. You know, seriously, you know, especially people that you call yourself close to or friends with, you know, uh, you really don't want to have that discussion about no money if you don't have to, because it's usually if, if whoever don't get what they want, a lot of times it's usually go, it go left, usually, you know, uh, and like I said, man, you know, as long as they've been working together, it, it, it would make, it made more sense for them to be together than apart, but. I definitely, if I was Spence, I I would have to make it clear, especially if he gonna ever rematch Bud or, or any big fight on that level. You gotta, you can't be training all these dudes and trying to train me at the same time. I really think that affected uh, the way how uh, affected they 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 fight or they game plan or whatever. Cause I didn't see one. If you just keep it real, I didn't see one in that Crawford fight. Uh, but glad to see. Earl back out here in the mix, uh, you know, he definitely ain't hiding from the fans or nothing like that. So, I mean, you know, uh, he has never been one that liked to do a lot of interviews. Crawford either, for that matter, you know, because I expected to see a lot more Crawford after he won that fight. But sometimes if something ain't you, it just ain't you. And I think Crawford, you know, he'll talk to the cameras here and there when he got a fight or whatever. But, you know, I, you know, these guys want to live their life and they got a right to, you know, uh, doing training camp and doing the, doing the build up to the fights. They had to do a lot of interviews and stuff like that. And when they ain't fighting, shit, they people like everybody else, a lot of them want to have their private, you know, want to have their own, they time to themselves. They don't want to get the fans their entire life. And I can respect that. I really can uh, out of both fighters. So we'll see what happens. But, you know, uh, the fact that he haven't picked another trainer yet, it does kind of lead me to wonder is they going is he going to try to reconcile with Derrick James? Uh, I'd be interested to see how his father feel about it. You know, uh, you know, because like I said, I mean, it's easy for people out here that ain't that ain't professional fighters and that that ain't making the kind of money to say just give up two and a half million dollars. Shit, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of damn money. Uh, most people ain't gonna see that in their lifetime. So. If that ain't deserved, it's hard to just say, 
peel off two and a half million dollars. That's a lot of, that's a whole lot of chop, especially in a fight that I got beat damn near to submission. You know, uh, I don't know, man. I, I just don't think I could, you know, I don't know if I'd be able to break bread like that, you know, uh, but then again, I don't know what is and what ain't right as far as what they supposed to pay and not pay the trainers, you know, uh, I feel like whatever a fight and they train to work out, that's how much he deserve to get paid. That's, that's, you know, uh, and Hey man, uh, you know, I think for the, if you want a class money, you need, you need to put up an a, I need to see an a class performance in the training camp. I ain't gonna tell you no lie for that kind of money. Uh, shit. I mean, you got to be in my back and call. I ain't gonna tell you no lie because 2.5 plus $350,000, damn it, $3 million. That's a lot of money. Shit, a lot of these fighters ain't making nowhere close to that to go in there and fight. So I just don't know. I mean, I don't know what the what the right number is. Uh, so ain't no sense of me acting like I do. But it it just seemed to me like if they can if they can be around each other like this and be amicable, they could probably settle this without going to court. You know, uh, I always felt like they shouldn't have to take nothing in court as long y'all been dealing with each other for fifteen years. Y'all can't sit down and talk. That's I mean. That's it. That, that's saying a lot right there to, to some degree, you know. So I really hope they resolve this uh, more sooner than later. And I really hope it's some. I really, I, I, it'd be nice to see them if they can patch it all the way back up and get back working together and, and see if they can go in there and uh, and make some noise one more time and uh, get, get that get that 154-pound title and and, uh, and 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 take it from there. But uh, that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, hit the like and subscribe. Till the next time, it's your boy Spiel Dog. I'm out.